live in Times Square. This is Good Morning America. And could just one day in the sun permanently damage your skin? The risk factors you may not know about. Also burning up the heat index, this woman's sunburn making so many headlines right now. It left permanent scars after she went just a few hours without sunscreen. And now a big warning about protecting your skin as temperatures are on the rise. ABC's Rena Ninen has more. Fair-skinned Caitlin Menza is always careful in the sun with her big hats and vats of sunscreen. My skin reacts in the sun very poorly. I can feel sizzling and itchiness within 10 minutes. But the one day she didn't reapply her sunblock, her face was permanently damaged. Her fair complexion going from this to this from just a few hours without sunscreen. She wrote about her experience on MarieClaire.com. It was a very typical sunburn. It wasn't especially bad. It didn't look like one of those third degree burns that you see online. But then as the weeks wore on, I realized that the this mark around my eyes from my sunglasses wasn't going away. It's called melasma, a common skin disorder that causes discoloration of the skin. Caitlin's dermatologist, Dr. David Colbert, says Caitlin is an ideal candidate for it. What put her at risk? Her fair-skinned Irish complexion, her lack of sunblock that day, and surprisingly, her birth control pill. The estrogen that she was on can actually make the pigmentation after a sunburn much worse than it would have been. It played a role in the darkening of the skin after her sunburn. To have this damage is really embarrassing. I mean, it's your face, it's what people are looking at, okay? So it's been really tough. Luckily, there are lots of products on the market to mask this kind of damage. If you have some more specific dark spots or acne or scarring, then you can apply some concealer right on the spots where you have that damage. It's now been two years since the burn, and while Caitlin has tried a number of treatments, she's still stuck with the discoloration. I was surprised that it only takes one day, one afternoon, one really bad sunburn to damage your skin. For Good Morning America, Rena Nine in ABC News, New York. Here with us now, board-certified dermatologist, Dr. Whitney Bowe. Always good to have you here oh, you. with us. So what exactly is this and why does it happen? So melasma is a condition where the pigment cells in the skin become hyper-responsive to the sun. Mm -hmm. And it can occur after just one really bad sunburn. Now, once you develop melasma, it can actually reappear again and again. Here, let me show you. Okay. So imagine that this paper represents skin that developed melasma, but then the melasma appeared to go away, right? The skin looks sure. good. Mm -hmm. If you expose that skin to heat or to sunlight, even for just a few brief moments, mm -hmm. the pigment cells just start pumping out pigment again, and the melasma reappears. Just like that. Just like that. Are there people more... P Certain people that are more prone, more prone to, this to it, yes. Yeah. So people with skin of color, so mm. Asians, African Americans, Latinos are specifically prone to it. Also, female hormone hormones play a role. So if you're pregnant, or if you're on a birth control pill, or if you have a first degree relative with melasma, that also puts you at increased Why risk. Why if you're on the pill? What is that? Is there something? It's the hormones. Mm. It's the estrogen, and right. it really makes those melanocytes just respond to the sun. And are these scars permanent, or can they? We be treated? can How treat do... melasma, but it really requires a multi approach you know so we really have to take it slow you want to gradually slowly lift the pigment out of the skin but you have to be patient and mm -hmm. it really requires time hydroquinone is an ingredient it's a prescription that actually blocks the production of pigment by the melanocytes by those pigment producing cells other ingredients to look for are things like licorice soy kojic acid we can do chemical peels and lasers in the office sunscreen is a must you yes. know but you can keep it under control but realistically you're not looking for a cure all right, these last days of summer, we've got to stay vigilant. Exactly. Put that sunscreen on. Yep. All right, Whitney. Thank you very much. Thank you. Amy?